Hey folks, it is Johnny DeCali here. Today we will be unboxing the Vivitar 1250. I picked this guy up from Amazon after I received an email from them that they were having 50% off certain tripods on some tripods. A lot of tripods actually. And this tripod here was listed at $49 but with their sale it was only $8.99 and I was looking for an inexpensive tripod for my GoPro. So, yeah, I figured this right here is not a major investment and it wouldn't hurt. As you can see, it is only 50 inch long or tall. And let's check out some of the features on there. 50 inch tripod, three way fluid pan head with bubble level, a quick release mount, elevated center column, three section leg locks with center column brace, and rubber feet. Rubber feet, hmm. All right, so my. Well, look, I don't know. Let's get this bad boy open. Um, yeah, let's get this guy open and get my initial impression on this. We'll see how. Um, huh, we'll see how it is. As you can see, it it's very small. It comes down. It collapses down to sixteen and a half inches. Wow, only a buck sixty three. That that's pretty light. So. Let's see here. Uh, more tape. Looks like I didn't cut the tape right. Anyways, as you can see, there is a carrying case that it comes in. Let's toss that box over there. Vivitar. My case for my GoPro is also a Vivitar case. And this tripod is Vivitar. Am I biased and Actually, am I a favor do I favor Vivitar products? I really don't. Um, my GoPro case was a Christmas present, and this right here just happened to be the least expensive tripod available from Amazon. And what's great about Amazon is that I have a Prime account, so I got free second day shipping. Um, $8.99, I didn't get charged taxes, so like I said, a very inexpensive investment all right so as you can see it locks down pretty nice carrying case not too bad it feels flimsy uh, eh, you can't complain about how it feels nine dollars for a tripod not too bad uh, Wow, it's not smooth. You can see that. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's just get these legs open. Um. Oh, not smooth at all. Okay, that leg, that section of the leg is not bad. Uh, locks pretty good. Now only of these other legs. There we go. Maybe it just needs some um, massaging. Oh, this guy is stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. So maybe I just need to put put some elbow grease in that. Um, let's see how the other legs are. I'm over here whacking something over there on the left side. Hmm. All right, so these, this, let me move that real quick. The the other leg, um, the shaft came out a lot smoother than the first one. That first one was fairly stiff. Um, not too bad. All right, that one, and this last guy. So, oh, I didn't plan on this. You guys can't see it. All right, I'm gonna have to reposition the camera. Um, but let's see. While I'm down here on the ground, what what else can I show you, folks? Um, the head. All right, let me um pull these legs up real quick. Um, I had a Manfrotto. I forgot what the model number is, but it was only forty nine dollars. Also. That one was a solid tripod. It also panned and 
was light. This thing, this tripod here is a lot lighter than the Manfrotto, but the Manfrotto felt solid. All right, well, as the saying goes, you get what you pay for. And for $9, it's not too bad. Plus, I'm only gonna use this for my GoPro. There is the level, the bubble level over there. But as you can see, it's like jerking. Maybe if I put some WD-40 or something so it could just be adjusted smoothly instead of just jerking it. Yeah, it's, it is loose. It has a loose. Hmm. This guy tilts. Maybe I'll just. There we go. I had the wrong thing loosened. That's why I was stiff. All right, so that's a lot better. All right, that is not level. No, right there. All right. Um. Initial thoughts already. I feel like it's cheap. I would be very disappointed if I paid fifty dollars for this tripod. Very disappointed. Like I said. You could get a lot better tripods for fifty dollars. Um, this eight ninety nine, free shipping. If you don't have Amazon Prime, you may be paying twelve dollars, eleven, eleven to twelve. Um, yeah, it is cheap. Yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. But nine dollars and like I said I oh sorry I was looking for something inexpensive would I buy this again for nine dollars that's a better question I don't know I have to play around with this tripod maybe use it for a month or two and let you guys know if I would buy this again for nine dollars nine dollars for a tripod is not a bad price like I said you do get what you pay for all right so not too bad I don't know if I would pay nine dollars for this I guess I, I initially paid nine dollars for this do I know better now um, I don't know let's see how my GoPro tripod mount works on this guy. Should mount easily. Wait, the quick release. How does the quick release work? I'm a guy, I don't follow instructions. I don't read instructions. Over here trying to figure out how this guy pops off. Oh. Okay. For a quick second, I thought more of the plate would come off. I don't know why. I'm just stupid all right so there's the plate here's my gopro tripod mount and okay it's checking to see if that is an issue oh look looky here this is nice this is nice for nine dollars i wasn't expecting to see this to help tighten the tripod the gopro tripod mount all right so it's going to snap on like this And let's see. You gotta fold that guy in. So, quick release. And I do, it doesn't snap on. You have to pull this lever here to put the plate back in. As you can see, it's just, it has a beveled cut to hold the plate in. Alright, get in there. Alright. It works. Hmm. I'm over here thinking. On a breezy day, very windy, how bad will the GoPro shake? That's why you want a tripod with some weight to it, so it will have some stability when it gets pretty windy. I have I'm sure if I tighten all these screws, hand nuts, hand levers, 
it'll hold. Not too we not too wobbly. And then just add some weight to it. Add maybe not a sandbag, but my backpack on to this thing and I'm sure it'll it'll get the job done. Oh no, look at that. See that? That's not good. That is not good. That's great Chinese engineering right there. Chinese quality. And my cheapness. That's what I get for being thrifty. Ten dollars, nine dollars. Hmm. Well, on the bright side, I do have a spare tripod now. For my GoPro. More than more than likely I'll spend a little more on a different tripod in the future. Not now, just in the future. It works. It gets I'm hoping it will get the job done. We'll find out. I'll shoot some uh, time lapse with my GoPro with this when this when the fog clears up, and we'll see how it goes. So there's my initial thoughts on this. I think it's cheap. Yeah, I I'll be honest. I don't think I'll pay another nine dollars for another one of these tripods. I'd spend another. Twenty, thirty dollars for something of better quality. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this tripod. If you have any questions about it, like I said, I got this off Amazon for only eight ninety nine, but the list price is forty nine dollars. I don't think it's worth fifty. I don't think it's worth eight ninety nine. I think it's worth five. Maybe I could buy something like this. For five bucks in the flea market, but I would not be surprised if I see something like this for twenty dollars in the flea market. All right, guys, hit me up if you have any questions about this. You guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.